Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome back to another episode of our Washington Redskins Madden 20 Connected Franchise Series. We are here for week 9 of season number 6, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. You see the Jacksonville Jaguars, the only undefeated team remaining in the NFL, but we're not too far behind them with a record of 6-1. and one. The Giants right on our heels with a record of 6-2. and two. The Eagles, who we're going to be taking on, are 3 and four but when we take a look here at their roster they have Carson Wentz 31 years old now 82 overall Naheem Hines 83 overall not bad right there the receivers uh, could probably be a little bit better they have our Sega white side Alden Tate not the greatest guy we know Zach Ertz is a baller but he is 33 years old this offensive line for the Eagles is pretty terrible except for Lane Johnson the right tackle the rest of the offensive line not that good so we're hoping we can take advantage of that lackluster offensive line they have solomon thomas at right end fletcher cox 33 years old but he's still kicking strong with a 92 overall they also have james martin 22 year old 79 overall so he's definitely the future thomas vanek his second season already an x factor already an 86 overall and he's only 22 years old this kid is a monster man right outside linebacker definitely questionable cornerbacks they're okay Sidney Jones Maddox they're all right right there Tedrick Thompson at free safety 77 overall and they have Bruce Corbett zone hawk x-factor at strong safety but before we hop into the game we have a frustrated wide receiver Quincy Wembley now he's frustrated but it's really not our fault he got locked up in the last game but we did try to give him the football but we'll try to appease him but he has to make sure he gets five touches or a hundred yards in this game and we're definitely going to try that we do not want our star receiver to be frustrated so we have to get our guy the ball but we also have a dev upgrade opportunity and this one is absolutely huge if we can hold them to under 75 yards rushing Rashawn Gary he can move up to a superstar and that comes with the abilities that's why we definitely want to upgrade a man or we can get two interceptions four fumbles tackles for a loss or a sack but having another superstar guy at defensive line would definitely help us out of course we lost one last season so we definitely needed to get another one so you see Carson Wentz in the Eagles they get the football first 14 touchdowns seven interceptions on the season for Carson Wentz but we're looking to make things tough for the Philadelphia Eagles first play from scrimmage they go ahead go with a play fake and we are not biting on that and we come up with a sack Demarcus Richard there now forcing a third and 19 Carson Wentz has a lot of time can he find an open receiver eventually he will but they're going to be shy of that first down mark so they put the football now we're looking at a second and 10 handed off to Darius Geis and for the second straight play he goes nowhere third and nine now Dwayne has is trying to pick up a first down and he's going to find Quincy Wembley down the middle of the field frustrated or not he's still coming through with big time catches first and 10 now we're going right back to Wembley and Wembley's making this grab down to the 19 yard line second and 10 Dwayne Haskins is going to find Quincy Wembley again. So three catches already to start off this game. Darius Geis lowering that shoulder. He will fall forward down inside of the five-yard line. Second to go. Looking to our other wide receiver. And that's going to be Tyrell Williams. Yes, man. Out of all people, man, Tyrell Williams comes up with that catch right there. That is a touchdown. So 7 nothing is the score. And here comes Philadelphia. Hand the football off. You come up with a tackle. Remember, we have to hold him to under 75 rushing yards. But right here, Zach Ertz, he makes a grab, and that's going to keep the drive going for Philadelphia. First and 10, Carson Wentz looking down the field and almost, almost throwing the interception to Tremaine Edmonds. So now it is third and 10 for Carson Wentz. Looking to the left, and look at this grab by Zach Ertz. Yes, he might be older, but he can still go get that thing, man. Second and 10 now. They go to the other tight end, making that catch. Has some room to run, taking that one down to the 19-yard line. Second down now for Philly. Carson Wentz looking to his right, and this one is going to be dropped, and it will fall incomplete. So now third and nine. They're trying to pick up a first down. Carson Wentz looking to his left, and instead he is going to find Martavis Boss, who comes up with that interception and somehow 
gets both feet down inbound. So we're taking over at the three yard line. This is Darius Geis. Nice little stiff arm. He's going out of bounds, but that's going to get us out of our own end zone down to the 21. The next play, Haskins trying to step up in the pocket, gets stuck behind his own lineman, but eventually he is going to find Chris Herndon. He is making that reception, and we are down to the 43 yard line. Now, first play in quarter number two, handed off to Torrey Fields up the middle. He will get a gain of about nine. The next play. This is going to be Clarence Strong. He's going to throw the football, and he's going to find Quincy Wembley moving those chains. First and 10. Haskins back in the game, taking a shot down the field, and look at John Ross, able to get both feet down inbound. John Ross, man, I love this kid. Basically, the, the improvement he's made since we've signed him to now is incredible. You see him coming up with that touchdown right there. We're up 14 to nothing here in this ball game right there. Landon Collins. He's coming up with a sack. Second and 20. They go ahead and hand the football off. And Hines has room to run. And this is what we do not need because we do not need 75 rushing yards. He gets a nice little pickup right there. Third and six, though. They hand it off again to Hines. He's picking up a first down and a little bit more crossing over midfield. So, Philly, they're right there, man. They're trying to get some type of points on the board. Carson Wentz going with the play fake. Getting hit as he throws. And he makes a mistake because Monte Nicholson is there to come up with that interception so big stop by our defense and we're going to look to try to extend our lead so Dwayne Haskins stepping back trying to find an open receiver and down goes Dwayne Haskins Fletcher Cox of course he always gets a sack against us man so now second 19 looking to our left and that's going to fall incomplete looking for Quincy Wembley but he was not there so third and 19 now Dwayne Haskins stepping back looking for a receiver and that one's going to fall incomplete. So the Eagles taking over under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. This is going to be Carson Wentz getting great blocks looking down the field. And that one was almost intercepted, but it will fall incomplete. So third and ten now for Philly looking down the field. And Greedy Williams almost comes up with the interception. There is a flag on the play. And that's going to be a holding call, but we will decline it. So after a great punt return, we are taking over at midfield. Dwayne Haskins trying to get something going, throwing the football and forcing it a little too much as we throw that interception, man. Throwing it on the run, never really a good idea. And the Eagles are going to take over, still only down by 14. But right here, we do get a tackle for a loss that helps the rushing yards. Right here, they go right back to the ground. Another tackle for a loss. This time, it is Vaughn Miller. So that helps the rushing yards. Third and 17, though. Here they go, trying to take a shot down the field. And this one is going to be caught as Carson Wentz finding the wide open receiver. Second and 11 now. Carson Wentz looking to the right again, finding another receiver, breaking a tackle, and eventually being brought down at the 37-yard line. Wentz looking to the left, lobbing this one up, and Monte Nicholson almost came up with the interception, but it will fall incomplete. Second and 10, Wentz down the middle of the field, going to find Zach Ertz, of course. He makes the reception. It will be third and short. So we're trying to come up with a stop. We blitz, but they get rid of it in time. And that is going to be a first down. And they are now going to be inside of the 10-yard line. So they are right there knocking on the door. Zach Ertz, he makes a reception. He takes this one inside of the 3-yard line. But then two plays later, it is third and goal. Dropping back, and we come up with a big-time sack. So that's a settle for a field goal. The kick is up. The kick is good. So 14 to 3. That is the score heading into halftime. But we get the football first to start things off in the third quarter. Right away, we're going right back to our frustrated receiver, Quincy Wembley, making that reception right here. John Ross, the speedster. Nice little juke move. And is anybody going to catch John Ross? No, they are not. Taking off down the sideline. John Ross is an absolute weapon man he makes the catch the juke move is there and you're not going to catch him and he has the burners so now it is first and 10 we are coming up with a big time sack von miller with that sack right there second and 17 coming off the edge but they're able to get rid of it in time von miller misses the tackle monte nicholson is there to wrap up third down now for philly they're in the shotgun formation carson wentz Looking has a lot of time, and he's going to throw an interception. Tremaine Edmonds is right there. And Edmonds, man, this dude's looking like a receiver out here at the linebacker position. Coming up with a lot of interceptions lately. Right here, Chris Herndon. He makes that reception. We are now inside of the 15-yard line. The next play, handing the football off to Darius Geis. He has a little bit of room to run. He's taking that one down to the 7. Second and 5, still lining up under center. This is Haskins looking to his right, and he is connecting with John Ross again for another touchdown. 
we are now up 28 to 3 right here this is going to count as a run as we miss the tackle and that's going to be a 14 yard rush so we have to come up with the stops and we do just that coming up with the tfl right there third and 11 now for philly Carson Wentz looking down the middle of the field, and this time the other middle linebacker, Demarcus Richard, he comes up with that interception, and we are taking over once again across midfield. So Haskins, deep drop back, looking to his left. Quincy Wembley, man, the security blanket. He's not getting locked down this game. He makes that reception. First and 10, looking down the field, and look at that catch. Terry McLaurin, who has been balling also the last few games makes that touchdown reception so now we're up 35 to 3 and we have clarence strong with the qb read he is going to pick up 10 yards but they will be inches shy of that first down marker so we go right back to the ground darius guys has room to run and guys maybe just maybe could have broke through that that could have been a touchdown but it's all good man right here third and five a wide open chris herndon that's going to be an easy first down right here the next play going with a play fake haskins looking down the field trying to do too much because we run out of room and that's going to be intercepted man if we had more room i think we had them for that deep bomb we just ran out of room and that allowed the corner to come up and make an intercession but von miller is not going to allow philly to get any momentum at all coming up with that sack right there but we're not done because rashawn gary he is coming up with the sack so we don't have to just hold him under 75 yards he can get some sacks as well and here we go back on offense chris herndon he makes that catch moving the chains but here we go to the ground this is going to be darius guys he has some room now they're trying to strip the football but he's able to hold on to a second and three go right back to the ground pick up the remainder for that first down we're able to do just that man 28 yard line Dwayne haskins looking down the middle of the field finding terry mclaurin making that grab we are now inside of the fifth team right here clarence strong keeps it on the qb re look at the blocks he's able to get from quincy wembley and he is walking into the end zone for a touchdown and things are just getting flat out ugly 42 to 3 carson wentz what can he do well you know what he's going to do he's going to throw another interception this is the marcus richard again his second int of the day and of course philly man they're just thinking it up uh, specifically carson wins looking terrible in this game quincy wembley right here making a nice reception taking it down to the 48 yard line the next play haskins dropping back is he going to find an open receiver he's going to run he's going to play maker his running back and he will get a nice completion right there because there is guys taking off down the field lowering that shoulder running over the cornerback and we are down to the 10 yard line right here it is third and goal we're looking for john ross who makes the catch but does not get his feet down in bounds but it's all good because you know we have cj Boudreau at kicker and this kick right down the middle and that is going to be the ball game 45 to 3 is the final score we outgained them 471 to 241 only allowing 34 rushing yards we were plus three when it came to turnover differential Dwayne haskins 125 quarterback rating 21 to 29 369 five touchdowns two picks carson wins no touchdowns five interceptions a terrible game for um carson wins man darius guys 13 for 57, Torrey Fields 3 for 11, Clarence Strong did have the 2 for 25, Quincy Wembley a great bounce back game, 8 catches, 112 yards, John Ross 4 catches for 107 and 3 touchdowns, then Terry McLaurin, he had 2 catches for 43 yards and a touchdown, when we look at the defensive stats man, we look good there as well, Landon Collins had 8 tackles in this game, Tremaine Edmonds has 7 tackles, 2 tackles for a loss, Vaughn Miller had 2 sacks, Barkley, Rashawn Gary, Landon Collins, Deron Payne, Demarcus Richards all had sacks. And then Richard with two interceptions, Monte, Tremaine Emmons, and Martavis Balls. Now look at this after the game. A ton, a ton of upgrades. So for Dwayne Hassan, we're going to go with Improviser right there. Move him up to an 88 break sack. The deep ball accuracy and throw on the run goes up three. A very, very solid upgrade. John Ross, he gets one as well. We have to go deep threat because that's what John Ross does. Why do everything? Just specialize in one thing. His catching traffic did go up though. So that is definitely good. You see the Moss X Factor ability. We have yet to really unlock that. We're going to try to do that at some point. Dallas Herbert at left guard. We're going to go power. Move him up to a 78 overall in that scheme. He gets plus two to his run block power. That is always good. Clinton Lindsay, he gets an upgrade. Like I said, we had a ton of upgrades here after the game. We're going to go power because he's at the guard position just this time on the right side. 
he gets a nice run block um, improvements right there. Nick Wood, one of the backup tight ends, he gets one. We're gonna go vertical threat, really a no-brainer -brain decision right there. That's basically what we wanna do with every single tight end. We want our tight ends to be pass catchers, and he gets plus three catching traffic. Medium route running goes up also. Keontae Bush, he gets an upgrade. Hopefully he's never really in the game, but we will go run stopper and he does get a okay upgrade plus two to the tackling. We could always use that. And then Calvin Turk, he gets an upgrade. Really doesn't matter at this point with Calvin Turk, man. He's just on the roster just to be on the roster. So we upgrade him as a zone safety and we're all good, man. Quincy Wembley after the game. He was appreciative that he got the eight targets, so that is good. We'll definitely take that. He gets 500 XP. He gets the morale boost. That's good. Now, the main event, the thing that we definitely needed, Rashawn Gary, he ends up going to Superstar. He getting that Superstar dev. We were able to accomplish it, plus 2,000 XP as well. And you see he gets under pressure for his ability, man. That is definitely good. The next ability that doesn't unlock to is a 90 overall. I'm not quite sure we'll ever hit that. But you see right here with the standings, man, we are 7-1. Giants still right behind us at 6-2. We have more room now between the Cowboys and Philly. But that's everything that we have for this episode, man. As usual, hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like, man. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.